Hey YouTube, it's Shayna, uh, finally banded. Um, not actually currently banded yet, but I will be on March 12th, uh, 2012. Um, I finally got my paperwork in the mail, <clears throat> so I know that it's for sure um, that it's going to happen now, and um, it's kind of all sinking in and hitting me, and uh, it's... I was more excited before I got approved for some reason. Um, I don't know if it's because now that I actually know that I'm getting it, I'm starting to freak out um, a little bit and all my nerves are coming at me all at once. And, um, you know, you always have the what ifs. What if this happens to me during surgery? What if it doesn't work for me? What if my band slips? What if... I fail at this, I mean, the list goes on. I'm sure all of you have been there at one point or another in your journey as well. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at now, and I'm, I'm also wondering if I picked the right surgery. Um, now that I've been kind of OCDing on YouTube and watching a million videos about lap band, um, I'm kind of wondering if I picked the right surgery, if I should be doing lap band or if I should be doing the sleeve or gastric bypass and uh, it's kinda too late now I mean I went through the struggle I don't know if any of you have seen my last video but um, I went through this process three times now and um, and an approval or uh, appeal before I got approved so I went through a lot to get this surgery and um, now I'm kinda doubting whether or not I picked the right surgery um, <clears throat> for me, which in a way I feel like I did. <clears throat> Sorry. I feel like I'm getting sick. Um, anyways, in a way I feel like I did because it's less invasive and of course um, I know that I'm going to have to work out and still watch what I eat, obviously. Um, but as far as gastric and the sleeve it seems like weight loss is a lot faster uh, with those and not necessarily that my weight loss has to be fast I just want it to be successful um, and that's the whole reason why I'm even choosing to have uh, weight loss surgery uh, to begin with is that I want to be successful I want to have a um, permanent lifestyle change because I've never had that um, my whole life I've been overweight, I've been um, heavy ever since I was a little kid. It seems like I remember fifth grade I did um, my PE physical agilities test and I remember they weighed us in front of, you know, the whole classroom. Each kid went up and got weighed in front of the, you know, uh, in front of everybody basically. And I remember all my classmates weighed like 75 to 80 pounds and I weighed 124 pounds I still remember that to this day um, and I remember being 124 pounds as a fifth grader that's pretty big considering I probably wasn't even five foot tall at the time um, <clears throat> and I just kept getting bigger from there it's like that's the, that's the smallest weight that I remember um, as a child, and it just kept going up and up and up and up. And um, finally, when I hit about 19 or 20, um, I was about 185 pounds. And um, it really hit me that I needed to start doing something about my weight. And um, so I started working out a lot and weight training. And for me, I like to have a lot of muscle. I know a lot of women don't like to have a lot of muscle because they think that it looks manly or you're going to look too masculine. But for me, my opinion, I like to have a lot of muscle. I like to be very, very toned um, and have defined, uh, defined muscle that you can see. And um, I had that for a while, and I was weighing about 175 pounds, and I'm 5'6", five, 5'5", five, 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 in between 5'5 five, five and 5'6". Five, and for me, at 175 pounds, I was wearing a size 8. And 
a lot of women would go, wow, you know, a size 8 and you weighed 175 pounds. Um, most people would think that you'd weigh around 150, 145. Um, but for me, I had a lot of muscle. And I still have a lot of muscle, but I've also obviously picked up a lot of fat um, after having my son. But anyways, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so I want to get back to my goal, uh, being, um, less than what I was, because at 175, I still did have fat on my body, but I was a lot more, like, dense, as in having a lot more muscle, and I really liked that. Um, I like how my body looked, and I would be totally happy being 175 pounds again. Um, but at that point in my life, I did want to still get down to like 160, 155 pounds. And I think my goal is going to be 160, 165 um, when I have the surgery. So um, mark my word on that. That's what I'm going to try to get down to, 160, 165. Um, but anyways, after I had gotten to that point in my life, I was pretty content for a while um, being 175. And I was lifting weights, you know, every day, every other day, um, and doing a lot of cardio. At the time, I lived down at the beach, and um, I would run a lot down um, on the strand there and had a nice ocean view, and it was very easy for me to run, and um, I loved it. It was something that I did every single day, and um, as I got older, um, <clears throat> I had to start taking on more responsibility, obviously. I started back in school, and I started working, and then I'd work two jobs, plus trying to go to school, and on top of having a boyfriend and everything else at the time, um, my life got very busy, and I was working in the restaurant industry, so I, of course, was eating lots of junk food at the time, just fried food, fast food, um, on-the-go kind of lifestyle, and that's when I put on about another 30 pounds. Um, I got up to like 205, 210. And at my heaviest, I was like 220 at the time. Um, before I had my son, that was like my heaviest weight. And I remember being like a size 16, and I thought to myself, okay, I really got to do something to get my butt in shape. And um, so I did. I got back into the same lifestyle that I was that I was living when I was 19 or 20 and working out really hardcore and lifting weights really heavy again and I started um, bulking up not with fat but with muscle and shredding that fat and I got back down to like a size 8 or 10 again and I was very happy and then I got pregnant and it all went out the window um, my pregnancy was I was sick every day I ate whatever I wanted never worked out yada yada, gained like 70 pounds throughout my pregnancy, um, which put me at an all-time high of 242 pounds, um, and I had my son, he's 18 months now, so 18 months has went by, and I've lost maybe 5 pounds after I had him, so I'm down to 238.4 is what I weighed today, um, but, uh, yeah, and I was even heavier than this. I mean, after I had my son, I had gained more weight. So I was at 242 when I gave birth to him. But, I mean, I have also went up from there. My highest recorded weight at the doctor's office was, I think, 249 pounds. Um, and since then, I've lost some weight. So um, this is just recently. So I've lost, um, in this last like month, uh, I think 11 or 12 pounds. So... I'm down to 238.4 as of right now, wearing a size 18. Um, and 18s are kind of tight in some um, brands. So, and I'm wearing extra large shirts um, and size 18 jeans. So, anyways, um, I would like to get down to 160 and start lifting again and running a lot. I've been, like I said, this week. Um, I've been doing a lot of, uh, walking on my treadmill, not just this week, but this month, I should say, um, a lot of walking at a pretty moderate rate and on an incline, um, three, four miles every time I get on the thing, and, um, I can't really run because I have arthritis in my right foot, 
and um, I'm pretty sure that that's due to my weight and I'm sure once I get my weight down it'll be fine and it'll go away but um, anyways I'm gonna continue doing what I've been doing uh, keep working out hard and um, just watch what I've been eating I've been eating a lot of high protein foods a lot of eggs, egg whites, um, a lot of lean meat, just chicken basically, uh, and I've cut out all my red meat that I've been eating. Um, been eating a lot of Greek yogurt. Um, what else have I been? A lot of salads, vegetables. I went from eating like my instead of eating chips, I started switching those out for like carrot sticks with light ranch uh, and cucumbers with a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Um, just snacking, making a lot healthier choices on my snacks, and making it a point every day to drink at least 64 ounces of water, and that's how I've already lost 12 pounds. Um, I haven't even started my pre-op liquid diet yet, which I'm sure I'm going to have to. Um, I go in on the 5th of March for my pre-op appointment, and I'm sure they're going to start me on some sort of, uh, pre-op liquid diet, um, before surgery, so... Who knows what's to come um, from here on out, but like I said, I'm just getting nervous uh, now that it's finally here and just really anxious. I cannot wait to um, get the surgery and get the ball rolling and um, start losing weight. So just made my channel here to keep myself accountable. Um, once I get the surgery, I'm going to be making a lot more videos. Uh, than I have already. It's just kind of pointless right now for me to make videos because um, I really ha I don't have much to record. I mean, I don't I haven't went through the process yet. Um, all I can do is sit here and OCD on everybody else's videos and uh, and keep myself motivated. Um, kind of curious about loose skin. Um, I'd really like to see. Um, and hear from you guys on your, you know, journeys if you've had a lot of loose skin. I've looked at quite a few videos, but not too many people show their actual body. I know some people aren't comfortable with that. Um, shout out to uh, New, New Toy for Katie and um, Casey Quinn. Um, both of you two I've watched forever for like the last year and a half, and... I absolutely love your guys' videos. Um, I would like to see Katie, though. Katie, I've been wanting to see your loose skin, if you have any, um, because your transformation has been amazing. Um, I've absolutely loved to see you all along your journey. You're so inspiring to me, and um, I'm going to keep watching your videos throughout this process. But you've lost so much weight, and I'm so proud of you, and I'd love to see a... Um, excess skin video if you ever want to post one I'd love to see it just because I'm so curious as to what I will look like um, when I get to my goal if I'm gonna have a lot of loose skin or not but anyways I don't want to make this video too long I'm already at 13 minutes and 30 seconds so I should hurry up and get off here um, anyways if you guys want to subscribe go ahead add me as a friend um, I'd love to hear any comments any feedback from you guys on loose skin, what you guys are eating, um, any uh, comments about lap band, uh, keep me informed, keep me updated. My surgery is March 12th, 2012. Um, I'll be checking in with you guys weekly, if not sooner than weekly, uh, or more frequent than weekly. Um, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you soon. Take care. I apologize about the way I look. I always make videos when I look like complete crap. I have no makeup on. Uh, please forgive me. Um, I am a makeup artist and a hairstylist, and I actually look like complete crap every time I get on here. It's because I'm getting ready to go to bed. Anyways, uh, forgive me, and please subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.